presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. The TGIF, folks, it was a light week this week, no doubt. The adoption expiration, we'll get to this market. A lot of the app action happening. <coughs> Excuse me. To begin... A great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are, what the needs of your mind are, what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women. Some of them will be good match for you and others won't. The two of you only to be like a key in a lock. A match that works. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 408, NASDAQ down 341, SP's down 77, gold contract down $11.50, trading at 1831 an ounce. You get silver off 41 cents, 24 dollars, 30 cents an ounce, light sweet crude, down a half a buck, 85 dollars, one penny a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year up 20 ticks, trading 128.11. The 30 year up a full point plus 20 ticks at 156.03 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 79 ticks, trading 95.656. Euro is 113. Yen is trading at 113.64. And the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, you have a market that's down. We're going to do the futures first because what you have here, folks, you got an ABC, down, ABC structure on the way down. And you actually have a, a so here, here, here's how the setup is. This is going to get really inter interesting. It's going to take a little more work to really figure where this thing wants to stop, but let me give you a kind of a heads up as to what we have here. So when you take a look at the, the A to B portion of this ABC down, the A portion starts right at the highs, okay, 4808. Your B point comes down there to 4572. Your C point gets up there at uh, 47. Let me get the whole thing straightened out so you can see this. Okay, so your C point, and then we bring this down. What did I say? It's 43.74. So you got 43, somewhere right here. So what you have is that we're, we're on an ABC down. When you do a 1 to 1 1.618, folks, okay, whether it's going down or up, what I've found on, on a very consistent basis is that's where you turn around in the marketplace. So my take goes like this. The lowest swing point, well, the, the high of the low out here is 356. We're at, that's 4356. We hit 4393. That's where we're at right now. 4374 is your ABC structure down when it's a 1 to 1 1.618. My take, this thing is going to go down. The S&P, the S&P has been the strongest. That's going to try to get down and get into that bar from October 1st to October 4th. They kind of laid it the same thing. That's how it's laid out. We're going to take a look at the NDX 100, and this is where it's going to get dicey, and this is why. So, NQ. We take a, take a look at the NQs, and what you have with the NQs, you, you're down 368 bucks. We've been talking about, you know, the October 4th level. The, bar, the low of the level is 14,366. Bottom line, we've made it to 14,457. This is going to get down there. Now, and here's the kicker. 
We're going to go over to the composite because, okay, so now let's do the NASDAQ composite. The reason we're going to the composite is that the composite has already given us a heads up that it blew away October 4th like sliced butter, man. I mean, not even close. We're 300 points under, under that. So what do you do? Bottom line, you got to go to your weekly, and you're, gonna, you know, you're not going to like what I say, but the bottom line is that you know, this is where this market wants to go. So what you have here is this. You can see that we blew away that October, the week of October 8th, October 4th, the whole ball of wax, okay? That sets up all the way down here now from March 5th, which is 12397 and guess what? We do this. Let me pull this up for a second and just put a retracement up. That, if that's what we get to, that is also the 0 0.382 of an ABC, no, not an ABC, contraction of where we've been. So let's go through this. If you're a bull, this is what you're looking for. You do not want this to stop right now if you're a bull. Because what happens, folks, is this. If this market stops here, I, my, my take is not. My take is going to be a nasty close, and we're coming into a really nasty close that you probably haven't seen in a long time. We'll be down 100 S&P points. We're only down 83 right now. So what happens is that if you make your full price projection and the market doesn't get any relief, that is a much better situation for a bull. And the reason being is that then it exhaust itself. If you're a bear, what you want to see is actually you want to see a bounce come in. And then you want to see a sideways move happening for three or four days because that would be the building cause of get to the next level. The overall picture to me is that we are in a monster correction and this is only the beginning of it. And if, you know, so we'll take this step by step. And the way that the S&P is trading, that would tell me that if we, if we hit the number that we're talking about, the 4374, without stopping, and that would be a good situation that then you would get a really nice bounce. The real kicker is going to be after that is that as you get the bounce, does the bounce come in light volume again? Because if it comes on light volume again, that's saying you're not done. That's, that's, that's how these things shake out, folks, okay? Um, if we go take a look at the tick, we know that we've been watching the tick. The tick has come in, but the trend hasn't come in. Now, look at the tick came in today. The tick came in just make sure this is not the opening tick. Come in at minus 1,900. No, it's, look at this, the same, same time. Right when I'm getting on the air. Yeah, so you get a minus 1,911, which is a great indication, okay, that, you know, you get a lot of selling. And uh, here we go. Now you're talking. Okay, so what has happened so far today is that the arms has got up to 1.73. That's what you need. This is the type. So you finally have some fear in the marketplace. See this 1.73, folks? Um, this, is not, this is not even close to a bottom yet. I can tell you this, though, because that thing, the five days got to get to like eight, somewhere around there, and you can see a five day on this one here. We're still only one, two, three, four. You're there at five, you know, so we still get some time here, man. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. You have the Dow Industrials off 410. NASDAQ's down 390. 340, S&P's off 77, we'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is down 329. You get the Nasdaq off 297. The S&Ps are off 66. And let me show you something here. So you get a bounce going, folks. And this bounce is way too early. That's the bottom line. You're going to see this thing get sold off again. But let me show you. We'll pull up the NDX, I mean the uh, E-minis. And what you're going to see here, okay, so we just bounced from 4390 to 4409, okay, 19 points like nothing. Um, we'll see how this shakes out. My, my take is that when you start bouncing a quarter past three on a down day in a down market, this is the ultimate to sell into. You know, I, I, yeah, I trade both sides of the market a lot, folks, but and on down markets, um, I've seen a lot of them. And trust me, <laughs> uh, when people are selling, you just keep selling away and you just pray for a bounce and, and sell it away. And at quarter past three on a Friday, you know, and this is where, this is where, this is what ends up happening. This is where I can teach how markets move. What you can't teach, and I've talked about, is cycles. It, what happens is this, is that you, first you have to technically un understand kind of how markets move, but you have to absolutely see the cycles, because uh, it makes a huge difference. It's just, it just does, it's, that's how it comes down. At a quarter past three in the afternoon on a down market, you don't want it to bounce. You, what you want to bounce on a down market, folks, is about quarter of four. That's how it works, okay? Because then it's vicious. It, it, it takes it big time. What this probably was here was just a fund turning around. And the way they do this, this is what they do. What they turn around is that they'll buy on one side. Okay, so picture... If you've traded futures a lot, you know how you can do this. You buy on one side, right? And as they're buying, on this side right here, they're hoping they can push it to that point. They might be buying 500 contracts, and then they'll push, push, push. They get the retail trader behind it, and then all of a sudden what ends up happening up here, they bought 500 contracts, and they got 2,000 for sale up here. That's how they, that's, that's, that's how they do it. Um, yeah, so let's talk about the miners, because we got a bunch of uh, questions here, you know, and we should. Uh, about the aspect of the gold equities uh, getting wrapped up in this. Thus far, the gold equities have held up beyond belief this week. There's no doubt about that. To answer your question, the bottom line is that, yes, they can definitely get hung up in it. Um, you know, the way that I'm looking at it right now is that the, I think that the S&P is very close to 
where it wants to go. Like when I started out the show about the 1 to 1.618. So I think what we're going to see here is that this is a bad day. It's going to be a bad day Monday. And the buy, though, is going to be somewhere Monday afternoon. That's kind of how I'm looking at this market right now. Because what I'd like to see happen is the E-minis finish their 1 to 1.618. What we would also need to happen is that when you take a look at this composite, you know, you're going to see people, there's going to be a lot of people that really hurt on this because what has happened is this. This composite is going to go back to, look at this. This composite is going to go back, this composite, so watch this, folks. You know, last year was a big year in the marketplace, right? Well, what's going to happen in, in one month, in 30 days, what you're going to see is that it's going to give back everything for the whole year, meaning what it, you know, the Fnatic was up 28% last year. Guess what? It's down 28%, you know, by next week. That's how this is set up. Let's go to our man, Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, man? Hey, how are you, Tommy? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Okay, okay. Thank you. Good. Have a good winter. Fine. Yes. We had snow flurries all over the place this morning. Is there? So, yeah. where it's, it's beautiful out right now. It's 71 right now in St. Pete, oh. folks. But... <laughs> But tomorrow we're going to be fifty-five for a couple of days, so we're going to we're oh going to have to handle it. Polar bear weather for you guys. It, it, listen, we're babies, you know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My my son went to Georgia Tech, my oldest, and uh, he uh, he said, "Dad, I'm playing polar bear softball winter quarter." I said, "Really? How cold does it get?" He said, oh, "About 50. <laughs> that is too I said, funny. That was a warm day when we played baseball up here. Totally. Well, man, you've been to, to some big games then between Georgia Tech and uh, Notre Dame. That is cool, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. From time to time, we make it there. Yeah. So, they got themselves know, quite a match, marching band, man. It's phenomenal. Yeah. Oh, they, yeah. His son is in the marching band there. That's terrific. We, Does he? Yeah. That, make, I, I love watching that. Games. You know, it's really weird. I don't think people understand how much work that is, man. And th those those people are real athletes. They, well, they're magicians and athletes. I mean, it's like pretty intense. Yeah, that's that's right. He's uh he's actually a rock climber. That's how he gets his yeah. exercise. You should see him. Yeah, unbelievable. He scares the heck out of me. I bet. Uh, wow. Yeah. Have, hey, have you? you Okay, so he's probably seen it, but you haven't. If you haven't seen this movie, folks, Alpine, it's on Netflix. Watch it. It's oh, okay. it's unbelievable, and it's Alpine. it's, it's okay. a great movie. It's it's this guy scaling mountains beyond belief, and he's a young kid, man. Pretty cool. Cool. I'll so, tune him in on it. <laughs> okay, so J.P. Morgan, right? Well, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. First thing I want to tell you is this, and I'll make it quick. Uh, one of the first charts I really started to annotate long time was back in 1999. It was the NASDAQ chart. Okay. And uh, every time there was a wiggle up, the volume went down. And every time there was a wiggle down in price, the volume went up. And I'm doing the same thing to a SPY chart right yep. now. And it's the same doggone thing right back to the beginning of the year. It, it's incredible how consistent it is. And in my book, that's that's the selling prior to a big, big dip. It is. It is. Yeah. yeah. I listen when I when I wrote the first book, my first book, what I did, and, and I I I wish I had saved. It's I can't believe I didn't save all the research. What I had uh -huh. done, folks, it, you know, I do always do this price and volume. But what I had done, I went through the queues for four years. And it was so consistent, it was unbelievable. It was like, you got to be yeah. kidding me, man. Yeah. That's how I really caught That's on the, to I, a lot of uh, the, the volume and price. You know what I mean? It's like, you got to, this is like crazy. So I remember you saying that. Yeah. You print out a shot, take a pencil, and boy, you, you'd be convinced. But it can last a long time because I remember you saying that in those days it's, on the radio. It's a and long, People it's, were calling it, you up, giving you a hard time. <laughs> For a long time, and boy, did it come to bear. <laughs> it's well, you know, it's always hard. What I've found is this: it is always hard in any market, folks. Okay, when the market's been so good, and then you know, we all get lulled. I don't care how long you've been around, man. You know, you you, you try to you know keep straight and say, okay, man, we know that there's bubbles everywhere, and there are, and so it's always hard to you know say, okay, hey, man, this is it because. You know, when you're saying that this is it, this is going to pull back, and 
you know, when we say that, folks, I mean, this, this, you know, we, we could have a consolidation for two or three years and go sideways for another two or three years. Then maybe we'll have some action. So, Frank, stay right there for a second. We're just going to take a quick break and we're going to come back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now down at 439. NASDAQ's off 338. S&Ps are off 80. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the Dow. The Dow right now is trading down 440. You get the NASDAQ off 339. S&Ps are off 80. We're talking with our man Frank, and we are going to be talking about J.P. Morgan. So... The low for the year in J.P. Morgan is, uh, let's see, where are we at here? What is that? A 127, the high is 172. We're at 144. You know, I wouldn't bite yet, um, but, you know, if okay. you want to own a bank, this is the I, best I, bank out there, man. There's no doubt. Yeah. I have a relative in this. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to tell him. I mean, if it breaks that 144, uh it's got the 139, but after that, you're talking 125. Yeah, the 128 breakout area. Here, let's get closer. One second. So uh, I'm looking at a monthly, and it's great. Yeah, 
It's a, I know, All right? Let me well, one thirty-two was pretty good support too. As I look back to so, the left, let's see. So if we take a look at this right there, what is that? Yeah, that's the one twenty-two. Okay. So. Yeah, you. I mean, you, you have where it is. It's a. It's a you got the, the breakout bars one twenty-eight, right? You got the yeah. one forty-one. I just don't think. 141 is going to be good enough to stop that. That's, you know what I mean? It's like, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because this is pretty nasty. And, and what has happened here is that, so as, as the banks go, folks, JP Morgan, no doubt, is one of the best, okay? You're paying a 2.7% dividend. The problem is that in where we are right now inside of the banking structure, um, you know, there's a lot of these apps that are taking a lot of business away from the major legacy banks. Um, and going forward, that's going to make a difference, you know. So yeah. you got to be careful uh, inside of those large banks. And I love J.P. Morgan. I mean, I, I always recommend it, you know, on pullbacks for sure. Um, but what, okay. what has happened is that, you know, the SoFi's of the world and they're, they're getting... Um, they're getting, you know, a lot of business, man. Um, and it adds up, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah. You just, you're, you're in a, you're in a tough situation right now, Frank. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but well, you are. You know what I mean? It's always one of those things. Me, like, but... Yeah. Because as soon as, yeah, as, we'll as, soon, as soon as you tell them to, you know, basically sell it, we know the market's going to go up. I mean, that's how it goes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> then he'll hate me. <laughs> I know. It's, and so listen to this conversation, folks, because what does happen is this, is that I've been doing this long enough, trust me, and people are always asking me, and, uh, and what I do, I, I, the first thing I do is ask them, say, okay, how long are you going to be in the market? Well, tell me what, you know, you want to do. I, and that's what you have to find out first, because if you don't, yeah. <clears throat> we've all been doing this long enough that markets always pull back and it's always worse than you, you think. And then guess what? As long as you have a, a longer, you know, runway, they always go back topside. That, that's the reality. But, you know, if you, if people are asking you for advice, don't say anything. <laughs> that's the easiest <laughs> way. <laughs> I know it's wicked, but it's the truth, right? I mean, think oh, about geez. how many heartaches that you have had yourself, okay? Now, yeah. oh, you, yeah. and I'm, I'm not yeah. talking about you personally, all of us. You can take it. Yeah. There's, a, there's a huge difference of being in it. You know you're not over your head. So it's like, okay, man, it's going to be whether, you know, I got to make it through it. it, it it's, you, you get the gist of it. I'm not, it's just, it's wicked when it happens. And, and there's no doubt because there's so many more people in the marketplace right now that that's happened a lot, you know, but yeah. Cooking brother. Thank you. Have Thanks a great one, man. Have a safe one. So if we go over, let's go take a look at, uh, yeah. So if we go to the GDX and we take a look at the GDX inside the gold market, you're going to see the GDX bottom line. You went top side, you had real good volume. You pull back with light volume. Well, that's how it's supposed to work. That's the way. And we're top side with 52 million. You're pulling back with 22 million. That's what you'd like to see. That's how that's that's just how markets like to move, man. Um, you know, as long as that, that, well, that's a market that wants to go higher. That, that's that's the reality. Uh, um, OK, so let's see. So Shopify opened a bank yesterday. OK, so this is trouble. Oh, this is cool information. Um, so listen to this. Yeah, this is wild. So Shopify, folks, we know, you know, Shop Shopify, I think it got hit a little, but the bottom, the bottom line is that this is, okay, so this is down 144 bucks. They come out with numbers, I believe, and, you know, it's at a low right now. And let me put this on a monthly. Oh, okay, so if you want to see, oh, this is going to be so cool. So, you know, I'm always, you know, price and volume, right? That's my, that's my gig, right? And what happens in downdrafts, folks, okay, is this. As you're going through your portfolio, now this is a scary part to do, but this is what you want to do. As you're going through your portfolio, 
What you want to do is you want to go to the last place that had volume on the way up. Because when we get a correction like this, guess what? That's where everything's going. Now in Shopify's case, bottom line, this is gonna get intriguing. Why? Because 845, 844 is the number. And you know, this went south from 1762 to 881, you know, in 60 days. So when you see a chart like this, this is not a good looking chart. This is, this is saying that, okay, we went up that long. I know people find it hard to believe that you can go back down that quick. But what you're going to see is that you go back to the last time that you had price and volume and they recharge themselves. That's how it works. So 844 is game. The reason I brought up Shopify is that one of our tigers was telling us that this is also turned into a bank. Well, the bottom line is that if Shopify is turned into a bank, let me tell you something. What you are going to actually see is I can see Shopify grow exponentially, like very quickly. And they already have. And the reason is, is that, you know, we use Shopify once we change the deal. So picture, you use Shopify, we use Slack, we use, uh, what's the other one? There's, there's three of them that we have uh, running behind the scenes, right? So what ends up happening, folks, is that as we sell a subscription, the bottom line, you know, we're, oh, Stripe, that's what we use. It's, it's Stripe, it's Stripe with Shopify. Uh, the bottom line, what ends up happening is this, is that they take the credit cards, we get it, then they turn around and put it in the bank, okay, for us. And it's a very efficient process. Well, could you imagine how much more efficient it would be that they don't even have to transfer it from the Shopify to uh, whatever bank you have that is right there? We, it wouldn't matter to us. You know, commercial businesses, folks, okay, absolutely are not, you know, it's not like, you know, I got to stay with this bank. Because with commercial business, what ends up happening is that all you're doing is paying fees. There's no percentage rate you're getting. So it's just, you know, a secure bank. That's all you're looking for. So I can see how that, that could start growing. There's, there's no doubt about that. We'll, we'll see where it shakes out. But I can definitely see how it starts growing. If we take a look at some of the uh, high volume uh, inside the, well, no, the move is inside the NDX. You got Netflix is down 23%. You got uh, Intuitive Surgical down 7 Netties is down 6 uh, Peloton is up 13. Now that's absolutely insane. Peloton, folks, okay, don't buy Peloton. This is gonna be a classic, okay? You're gonna bounce, and there's gonna be a lot of people hurt, unfortunately, in this market in general. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Tech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrial is down at 325. We'll get the NASDAQ off at 264. S&Ps are down 62. So let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Point-wise, what you have out here is this, is that putting positive points in to the Dow Industrials is that you have McDonald's putting 13 positive points, Nike 5, United Health 4. Taken away from it, you get Disney, minus 61, Boeing, minus 47, Visa, Let's see, 32, Goldman, 26. The rest of them aren't that bad, actually. Um, so bottom line, we'll see where this uh, baby's going to shake out. What we are going to do out here today, folks, and this is what is a problematic for the market also, is that you are going to have monster volume. It's option expiration. It's so volume's going to come in. And when you have that happen, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want that to see this low tested. That, that's, that's, that's how it comes down to, because bottom line is that you come down, you come down with volume. We've already had the wide price spread. You know, that's kind of how the whole baby shakes out. We're going to take a look at the XAU and the HUI. Uh, XAU right now, that's trading down uh, $3.87. I suspect this is going to be lighter volume, but the bottom line is back to the breakout area. We broke top side out here with uh, 40 million shares. And I won't get the volume to that until uh, 8 o'clock tonight. You get the Gold Bugs Index down $7.33. The good news here is that the Gold Bugs Index is stronger than the XAU. So what happens is that, is this, is that that is saying that the gold contract itself is still wants topside. That's, that's kind of, when you, when you have the, when the Gold Bugs Index, in fact, let's go take a look at Franco Nevada. And a couple of the streamers, because when the gold bugs index is stronger than the XAU, most times that means that, okay, you get some traction. That being said, guess what? I bring up Franco Nevada. That's not holding price. That's actually below the breakout area. That's not good. We're going to take a look at Royal Gold, RGLD. Better, a lot better. Okay, so this is interesting. So... We, we went topside with Royal Gold at 480,000. You're back at no, with 522. You're backing down with 292. That's a decent uh, setup. We're going to take a look at Newmont. Newmont, uh, no doubt, uh, the larger players like Newmont. Uh, that's down a buck and a quarter. Yeah, this is, this is cool. You're up with 15 million, and you're only back with 6.6. That's, that's what you want to be looking for, you know, in markets that want to go higher. We have just the opposite in markets that want to go lower. That's how this thing shakes out. Um, let's just, just go see how big this arms is getting. So we get a 1.84 right now. So the way this works, they have the, so let me explain this arms for a second because this is pretty cool. So the way the arms works, folks, right? Remember I was explaining yesterday that we have the, we have the, we're going to get an antique show, we're walking down, and then you got 10 boots on your right side, 10 boots on your left side. When the market is in sync, most of the time the arm is somewhere around one. And what that means is that means that all 20 stocks are getting somewhat around the same type of business. When we have downdrafts, what ends up happening is this, is that that arms reading, you want to see that arms reading go up to about one point. 
five every day for five days, and then you're going to be at, uh, yeah, you get, that would get you at 7.5. You want to get over eight on a five day. That's what you want to do. Because that's saying that you're getting exhaustion going. The way you get that, and this is what's really cool understanding this, and you'll get this really quick, is that, so we have 10 equities on the right side, 10 equities on, on the left side. But we know that what has happened is that as we're going higher, they're saying the NASDAQ, well, the, the, the five or six stocks that brought us higher. Well, on the way down, folks, what happens is this, is that when the arms goes to a 1.5, or it's like a 1.7 right now, what it is, is that all the selling is in fewer stocks. So 10 on this side, 10 on that side. When you get a 1.5, you're going to see that only like five stocks out of the 20 has all the selling in them. And the reason being why, of course, those are the equities that have been the high flyers. Those are also the equities that everyone's over leveraged on. That's what makes a bottom. So that's how the baby shakes out. So I suspect, as I said earlier, that we're going to get this come into Monday and it won't be the end of the world. Remember something, folks. It's not the end of the world. That's, that's the real bottom line. So... I know it's not great, but, you know, that's important that you're understanding that it's, you know, it's not life or death. Um, we take a look at some of the higher volumes out here today. you got uh, NVIDIA. That's, that's, so NVIDIA's down $100. Let's look at NVIDIA. This is the, it, NVIDIA loves trading like this, by the way. Um, you know, I think it was 332 was the high. 346 was the high. Right now you're 235. We take this, we put this on a three-year weekly. And you can see that's going right back to the, the breakout area here is 227. Now, the difference, this is what's cool. So, as you're going through some of these um, chip stocks, you know, this is a lot better chart than when... Frank and I and you know, all you Tigers and Tigresses were looking at the J.P. Morgan chart. The reason being, as you can see up in these highs, you actually do have volume. That's what you need. And if you're looking at charts that you don't have volume at those highs, and you come off the high with volume, that's a problem. Because then the next thing you look at is that when was the last time that we did have price and volume? Because that's where they love to go. Uh, let's go look at uh, Qualcomm. So, the low is 122, the high is 193. Okay, this is going to fill the gap, man. You know, okay, so when it pulls up something like this, that gap is wide open. It's a problem, man, in a monster way. So, this thing has a lot further to get down. What we're talking about here, you're at $166. That gap is at 135, no, 138. That's going to get filled. I know it's a long way from it, but it's going to get filled. And this also, this also has tested its highs, light volume. It, what it hasn't done, though, this, is with, this hasn't come off the high with volume. But that being said, uh, gaps that are this wide open, folks, don't stay open. They just don't stay open. And you never know when they're going to fill it. But what does happen, that as soon as you have a turn in the marketplace, okay, you should be looking at your portfolio to see where are there are gaps. Because if the gaps are really low, you know, hedge yourself. Do something, man. Because the bottom, the bottom line is that markets, somehow, the gaps are like a, a freaking magnet. They just bring them right in. And I know it, some of them are really way so low that, okay, it can never happen. Well, guess what? The one thing that happens on a continual basis in the marketplace is what? It goes there. <laughs> the market's job is to take the most amount of money away from the most amount of people in the least amount of time. And that's what we have just seen here, unfortunately, in the last four or five days. Dow Industrials right now up 392, Nasdaq's up 345, S&P's down. Oh, sorry. S <laughs> The house down 380, Nasdaq's down 340, S&P's off 74, we'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 415. We have the Nasdaq off 362. S&Ps are off 81. Uh, bottom line, folks, uh, rough deal coming in. What you're going to have, you're going to have price and volume downtown. Um, you know, this market wants lower price. Uh, we're getting really close to that ABC structure down uh, right now. We got, uh, let me see, it's 4374. So I, what I expect we're probably going to get is, as I said at the beginning of the program, you get a downdraft into the market. Monday, more than likely, is going to be a downdraft. Then Tuesday, it should flip. You know, we'll see how this shakes out. Some of the Tigers are saying you get a special tonight on CNBC, market turmoil special. That's really good. That's, that gets you halfway there. Um, and maybe the leftover will they'll, they'll scare everyone just enough uh, that on Monday they sell. But my take is that Monday morning we're going to, we're going to be selling. Okay? Uh, that being said... That's where you should be looking for a turn, but a turn really late in the day. Not really late. Yeah, I don't know, 2, 2.30, something like that. Uh, I'd use these numbers. That's what I'd do. And then I'd use, oh, here. So the S&P used that number, that, but then you got to get into the NDX because the NDX, I'd love to see the NDX. Okay, so right now, the... 13,384, and we hit 461. Yeah, there's no way it will get that close. I don't know, man. We'll see. 
What I was what I was going to say, folks, that I'd like to see that's another hundred points. I think the MDX is, is going to basically uh, get down into. Uh, oh my, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's like twelve thousand two hundred two. It won't take much. I mean, you know, if you're if you're into trends, let me tell you something, man. <laughs> this is a downtrend. <laughs> That's for sure. <coughs> always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Tommy kicks us off Monday morning. Great show. Come back and visit him. Please tell your friends about TFNN. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. Look at them, folks.